If food be the music of life, play on. If challenges be the spice of life, savor on. If victory be the taste of success, fight on. Tonight, two of our brilliant chefs will fight to see if they have it in them to savor the challenge, make music with food and taste victory. Welcome to the second semi-final of Foodistan. In our first semi-final, the contemporary pizzazz of Pakistan chef Poppy Aga took on the formidable strength of the Don of Dampukht, Muhammad Ikram. They were fighting to be the last Pakistani standing on Foodistan. Despite Chef Ikram's smuglai twist to the game changer that was duck, it was Chef Poppy's innovation that really sealed his fate. In victory, she also became the first finalist on Foodistan. Tonight, we'll find out who her opponent will be. And here's Ali Khan to kick off our second semi-final. Namaskar, Adabarze. Good evening. Like in our first semi-final, tonight's cook-off will be tough for both challengers. Yes, they are facing the best of the best. But also remember, this time, like in our first semi, it's countrymen versus countrymen. It's going to be two of India's most talented chefs in a knockout cook-off. I'm sure that the jury of Foodistan is as excited about tonight's contest, so please let's give them a warm hello. The judges of Foodistan, the chef who knows a thing or two about a masala, Marilee Sparker. Oh, well, listen, I'm very, very excited. These are two of the strongest chefs in the competition. I think we're going to get some fantastic food and we're so close to the final. It's like I can almost taste it. Oh, very excited. The journalist and food critic who knows more than a thing or two about desi cuisine, please welcome Veer Sangve. Hello, hi. Hi Veer. And the actress who knows a thing or two about desserts, please welcome Sonia Jahan. Good evening, guys. Good evening. You're looking very beautiful today. Thank you. <laughs> Our first semi-finalist is probably the favourite tonight. And not just because the judges dubbed him the butchan of cooking, it's also because he is the only undefeated chef on Foodistan, really a big deal. After leading his team to victory in the team challenges, he really came into his own in the individual cook-offs. He brushed aside the formidable Chef Mohammed Ikram in the first cook-off and overcame the stiff challenge of Chef Mohammed Naeem in round two. It was then Chef Bobby Aga's turn to be swept away by him in the quarter-finals. Just who is this man? He's the executive chef of the popular fusion food restaurant, the Indian accent New Delhi, Chef Manish Mehrotra. Good to see you as always. Fall down six times, stand up seven. That's an old Zen saying, and Chef Manish's opponent tonight symbolizes it. He was eliminated after losing his first cook-off to Chef Poppy Aga, but a window of opportunity appeared in the form of a tiebreaker. He seized it and pulled off a coup in the comeback challenge, and his version of Kareem's mutton stew got the highest marks on the Indian side. In the quarterfinals, he outcooked young Karachi chef Amir Iqbal Khan with enough points to book him a place in the semi-final. If Chef Manish is the favourite, he's the underdog tonight and it suits him just fine. Please welcome the king of comebacks, entrepreneur chef of Chefs United and Masala Maya, Chef Sunil Chauhan. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us, Manish, for a start, lots of pressure. We keep repeating this, keep reiterating it for the audience that you are the only undefeated chef. Tonight it's knockout stage. Yeah. You think uh, lots of pressure on you? Yes, it is a really lot of pressure on me. <laughs> but the Sunil, I know him from past. Uh, he's a very good friend. So. I'm a little relaxed. <laughs> okay, I'm fighting with a friend. <laughs> All the best, boss. Thank you very much. All Thank the best, you. Chef Manish. Thank and you. I don't know about the dosti because this man has proclaimed he's a shark. And I'm sure there's a shark under there today as well. Am I right? Well, I'm going to give it a uh, best shot and that's what I do. Uh, having said that, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an honour and it's a pleasure to stand uh, with uh, Chef Manish Malhotra here and, and uh, 
cook with him. He's a dear friend as well. Thank you, and all the very best to you, thank Chef you. Sunil. Thank you, thank you. Two very professional, very confident, relaxed chefs in the house tonight. Well, it's time to pull out our game changer and make their lives a little bit harder. Now, for these semis, we basically wanted to keep the playing field as level as possible. So once again, our game changer, the bird that gets its name from an old English word for a diver. Duck! In our first semi-final, Chef Mohammad Ikram's attempt to go Mughlai with duck proved to be his undoing. What will our chefs do this time? We will find out. First, as always, time to bring on our apprentices, Harshit IIHM Delhi, Gaurav IIHM Delhi. Chefs, you've worked with these gentlemen before, these young gentlemen, I might add. You know the drill, whilst you quickly think on your feet, get into a huddle, decide what you're going to be churning out with this duck. Hira, the rules, please. Show sure, Ali, the rules of the semi-finals. One, both chefs have to cook one appetizer and one main course in 60 minutes. Two, both the dishes, in this case, must contain the game changer. So duck must be in both their dishes tonight. Three, the chefs cannot repeat any dish they have previously made on the competition. Once done, as always, the menus are scored out of 10 points by our jury. The chef with the maximum points wins and goes through to the finals. Thanks very much, Ira. And of course, the best of luck to both our chefs. Now, the judges are impatient to find out what it is they're going to be eating. So without further ado, let's find out what's on the menu. My first starter is a duck salad, which will I'm going to put a hoisin dressing because duck and hoisin sauce is a classic combination. And with a little bit of uh, pomegranate, a um, little bit of Thai herbs and uh, cherry tomatoes which I, and walnut, toasted walnuts. And my main course is a classic again, duck red curry. Here I'm searing the duck and then slicing it and in the duck curry then. Sounds great, thanks very much Chef. Sunil? Well, uh, what I'm doing today is a, cr a crackling duck uh, with the spiced palm jaggery reduction. The, uh, the inspiration is oriental food of course. I'll uh, do it in uh, lettuce rolls, uh, uh, and my for, this is the starter for my main course. I'm doing uh, sage flavored duck breast, pan seared, and I'm doing it with uh, um, citrus caramel sauce and uh, uh, onion pilaf to go with it. That sounds delicious. Judges, there are lots of oohs and ahs and lip smacking happening. What do you think of the menus, Marilise? Oh, listen, I mean, these guys can so cook. They both sound fantastic. Let's hope you guys don't make any mistakes. You pull it off as perfectly as you possibly can for this last semi-final. I am very excited. Veer! I know you keep calling Sunil the underdog, and certainly he did very badly in the competition at the beginning. But I think he's now cracked it. His menus are amazing. This is going to be a very close fight. Sonia, I love both of them. I think they're superb chefs, and I'm really looking forward to the menus. Uh, we had the same game changer for the last semi-finals and in Pakistan we don't really eat that much duck. Um, I've had a lot more duck in India and I know that you guys can produce something fabulous. So I'm really looking forward to tonight. Thanks very much, judges. Good luck, chefs, from their elaborate menus. It's rather clear that neither chef's feathers seem to be ruffled by the duck. As always, let's set them on their way for pride, for honour, for glory. And for that all-important place in the final, let the battle begin on Foodistan. 